Hello there. How are you today? We're about to have fun with the SLK T4 from KV Synth. But if you prefer, you can call it the Select 4. This module is an easy to build, easy to use, four step, low cost, sequential switch. So what's the use of a sequential switch? It is very useful for creating complex and progressive patches and sequences. A sequential switch allows you to choose, which signal source is going to the main output. Each time a trigger is received, the output signal will change to the next input source. Believe me, it's a simple function that can bring a lot of diversity to your creations. Now let's do our homework and study quickly the panel. The SLK T4 is designed for triggers, gates, CV signals, and slow LFOs. Those jacks will receive the input signal. And each one is equipped with a LED to indicate which signal is assigned to the output. The output jack is cleverly placed at the top of the module. Send the output signal to any desired CV input. To sequentially switch between the input signal, send a trigger to the trig input. The mechanical switch will address the number of input allowed. In a live performance, it could be very useful to change the number of steps. And if you need to synchronize the sequence, each time the reset input will receive a signal, it will go back to the first input source. Well now that we did a homeworks, here are some quick patches to demonstrate some functions of this interesting module. Some delay modules, like this time Safari Markle 2, can be clock externally. Selecting between different tempo will bring more complexity. We are selecting between different clock divisions, to keep the delay synced. But you can experiment with any random clock source. Here we have a simple kick drum sequence, a constant kick made with the plonk, from IntelliGel, and a little snare-like percussion, to demonstrate the variations the Select 4 will achieve. Everything triggered with the DC1 drum computer from Sound Machines. Four different sequences will be distributed to the Select 4, and we will assign the step switch, as we add more sequences to the module inputs. The SELECT 4 is receiving a signal at its trig input. And so the source rotates between them. As you see, this module is an easy solution to avoid repetitive loops. Here's another similar drum patch. I left the sound design a bit more basic, so we could focus on the timing. The Zorlan cannon is triggering some percussions of the LDB from Delptronics. And the Select 4 is distributing some clock variations to the Zorlan cannon. Each steps of the Select 4, generates different patterns, which is clocking, the pseudo-random gates of the Zorlan cannon. Let's make a 32 step sequencer, with the select 4 and the pressure points. And use the subway also from KV Synth, as our main oscillator. Let's compose the first 8 step sequence with the pressure points. Once satisfied with the sequence, move on to the next one.
Now that all sequences are ready, time to automate the rotation of the source of the select 4. Basic sequencer is now upgraded to a turbo mega 32 step sequencer. Now we will address different CV source to the pitch of modulator A of the Hertz Stone at Mark III. The main oscillator's pitch will be greatly affected by the modulator. Send LFOs, step CV, random CV or any different sequences. Experiment with different tempo. You can add a slew generator too. I wish I had another select 4. For this patch, selecting different CV for the main pitch would have been interesting. Voltage control of parameters is one of the features that makes the modular world so interesting. But with most sequences, it's easy to fall into a repetitive loop. This is why a sequential switch, like the Select 4 is a great utility module to bring more complexity to your creations. Here we got different CV source, LFO, step CV, random voltage, and the audio output of the microphony. All of this going to the Bionic Lester Mark III's filter cut off. Try different types of CV to different CV destination. This is a similar patch using the spectral multiband resonator from 4MS. The output of the select 4 is going to the scale rotation. Each source covers a different scale movement. The Select 4 is particularly designed for CV, gates, clocks, and slow LFOs, so it is not conceived for audio purpose, but it is still possible to experiment with it. But you'll probably get some instability, which is something I liked about this uncertainty. Here I tried a little something with the Zorlan Canon Mark II. Just be aware that you can feed the Select 4 with audio sources, but you'll get rather strange results. If it's a punk attitude with weird behaviors you're looking for, then you'll be pleased. The Select 4 is a 4HP low-cost sequential switch, available fully assembled, or as a DIY kit easy to build and easy to use. This module won't take too much space into your rack, and it will bring more complexity and avoid repetitive patterns. For more information on this module, or any other KV synth devices, simply follow the link in the description. Sequential selectors are a little bit overlooked, but once you tamed them, they become essential creative elements. Hope this video was useful to you, feel free to comment and share your love and hatred. And thank you for watching.